think like a football goalkeeper. Imagine a football team without a goalkeeper. What will happen to that team? What are the chances of a football team winning matches? What is the psychology and mental strength of successful goalkeepers? As a leader, a visionary, entrepreneur or citizen, how can you learn the skills by tapping into their thinking, goalkeepers and their prestige and status for revolutionizing their position by imposing their authority on the entire defense. A vocal presence in goal, goalkeepers shout orders at their defenders, came off their line to intercept crosses and also run out to meet out rushing attackers. Done at a time when goalkeepers spent the 90 minutes standing in the goal waiting to be called into action. Psychologically, goalkeeping is by far the most demanding position on the football pitch. It requires immense mental strength and a unique mindset that most other footballers do not have. Only single-minded players are cut out to be goalkeepers. So precisely what psychological traits do the best goalkeepers have? What mentality must goalkeepers adopt to be successful? Well, one of them is humility, being modest. A goalkeeper is steady in many ways. One that does, does their job consistently week in and week out with very few mistakes. Success in goalkeeping is not defined by silky skills, showboating or stealing the show. If anything, it is more about keeping the limelight off you. With that in mind, keepers have to remain humble and fully accepting of the fact that glory may only come in the form of clean sheets, rare penalty saves or those spectacular match winning blocks. These are the moments that keepers strive for, patiently wait for, and build their careers around. Goalkeeping is a role that requires so much humility that only a tiny minority will fully, will fully commit to it for the long haul. The ability to accept your mistakes. Making mistakes is part of being a goalkeeper. Perfection is impossible even the most excellent keepers in the world. With the best defense in front of them, do not keep clean sheets every game. As a keeper, you can only learn from your experiences, both good and bad, to maximize your chances of keeping the ball out of the net going forward. What makes a great goalkeeper can live with their mistakes and find ways to improve? Redemption takes time and persistence. Only those with the determination to keep plugging away will prove what they are really made of. So, if you are having a tough time, keep on pushing. If you are too easily wounded by mistakes, you will never become a successful goalkeeper. More than anyone else on the pitch, you have to be mentally resilient. That's right. Handling pressure and criticism. As a goalkeeper, you will be criticized for your mistakes far more than you are praised for the excellent work you do. One negative undoes a series of positives. That is the harsh reality of being a keeper. You can expect to face criticisms from your teammates, manager, and the touch lines in many instances, such as weak distribution goal kicks, fumbling a shot across your body, being lobbed from a distance, shots going through your legs, slow reactions, hesitation, poor decision making, a weak hand to a savable shot, harshly you will sometimes take the blame for situations that were not entirely your fault. Poor weather, 
conditions, dodgy back passes, and other defensive errors can lead to common mistakes. Yet, the goalkeeper takes the slack. That's right. It is tough. But being the last man in the line of defense, where vital goals are at stake, means that keepers influence results. With that level of responsibility comes the expectation for you to consistently perform in games. Goalkeepers need to thrive under high levels of pressure by blocking out all negativity and pessimism. Self-doubt is crucial. Touchline criticism. The touchline's criticism can be heard loud and clear by keepers, more so than any other player. Indeed, playing in one area of the pitch means you are an easy target. If you have ever been to live games and sat behind the goal, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Abuse is particularly annoying when you absolutely know the guys on the touchline have zero experience with goalkeeping and do not know what they are talking about. Home fans are not exempt either. They will often grumble about their own keepers. The bottom line is that you have to ignore all those distractions. People on the touchlines are fickle. Anything you do, good or bad, will alter their opinions on pretty quickly. Stick to what you have been taught and you will prove them wrong. Focus, concentration, and staying alert. Unlike other positions on the pitch, the goalkeeper cannot get into a game and start to find form as it goes on. A keeper must be fully focused and mentally prepared from the kick-off right up until the final whistle. Ironically, it is often easier to maintain focus in busy games, quiet games where there is not much action, are challenging to stay alert in, but one lapse in concentration can have huge repercussions. It can define the results of your match. For professionals, it can unfortunately define a career. Alertness or lack of can be attributed to many high-profile goalkeeping mistakes. Some of the greatest goalkeepers to ever grace the pitch have made huge errors in big games. As a goalkeeper, you cannot afford to be complacent or distracted at any point. Every game requires your full attention, yes. Accepting that you are different. Keepers think differently from other footballers, no doubt about it. It requires a single-minded footballer to embrace the additional responsibilities, the specialist training drills and unique equipment. It requires a rare kind of bravery to take on a role that demands vastly different skills from all other on-pitch players. As a goalkeeper, you will never quite feel the same as others, but always wear that number one jersey with pride because a vital game-changing role is only given to someone with the ability to think for themselves, someone responsible. You are the one that has the job that 10 or 11 others instinctively shied away from. Are goalkeepers a different breed? Are keepers unique? Well, the goalkeepers are a different breed to outfield players. And it is true. Throughout all levels of football, players and coaches involved in the game will attest to that. So, exactly what makes keepers so different? How are keepers unique? Good questions. It is practically a different sport. Goalkeepers play an entirely different game to, the, to their teammates. First and most obvious, regular outfield footballers can only use their feet apart from throw-ins. 
At the same time, goalkeepers were granted the additional power to use their hands inside the penalty box. This means keepers have more tools to sharpen their, remain, their remaining 10 teammates. Sure, there are several overlaps between goalkeeping and outfield roles too. The ability to pass and pick out a teammate and the need for fitness and strength and high concentration levels apply to everyone on the pitch. But the rules, responsibilities, training regimes, physical attributes, typical age range, even the mindset of goalkeepers is vastly different. That's right. Goalkeeping is practically another sport in its own right. When you think about it, many goalkeeping skills such as catching, passing and diving at feet overlap with other sports like basketball, handball, rugby, American football. In terms of the speed and agility needed, goalkeeping is comparable to racket sports like table tennis, essentially an extensive skill set is required for goalkeeping. It is football plus a whole lot more on top. That is precisely why it is the most challenging position to learn. The lone player. The lack of Komara Derry is ever present between keepers and their teammates. It is a lonely existence both on and off the pitch. During training sessions, you are isolated from your team, working with specialist coaches or battling against teammates in strike drills. You practice your own game. The disconnect from your team carries through onto the pitch, where you are physically isolated down one end. You will often go extended periods without touching the ball or being involved in the action. If your team scores, you rarely get the chance to celebrate in the huddle either. Busy games do little to change the dynamic. You can produce some outstanding saves, even set up attacks from excellent distribution, yet you often will not receive the recognition you end. Make one mistake and guess what? The focus is entirely on you for all the wrong reasons. Off the pitch, you are still out of the loop. Your teammates bond over the dramas which took place up the other end of the pitch. The goals, penalties, bendy free kicks, even their diabolical attempts on goal. Unlike the keeper, they can afford the luxury to laugh off their mistakes and inadequacies. Keepers must be independent and single-minded, yet at the same time, they also need to be to avoid becoming too distant or introverted to remain fully integrated with their team. That is the challenge in its own right. A different mindset. The role of the goalkeeper attracts certain types. Goalkeepers are not in this for the personal glory. They are in this for the team. It is not about how many goals they can score or how many assists they can improve themselves. Success for a keeper is measured by how many goals they can prevent. The reality is that not many people will choose to solely make saves for their team without the possibility of scoring goals. Goalkeeping is an unselfish position that tends to attract noble, articulate types of sports people. The attention span, the strength of character, dedication and drive required to be a goalkeeper weeds out any characters with airs and graces. Goalkeepers are unique at all levels. Being a goalkeeper means accepting and embracing that you are different. So it is no wonder that goalkeepers stick together and have a strong mutual respect for one another. Keepers know how tough 
it is to be the outside. The worst thing about being a goalkeeper. It is not always fun being a goalkeeper. It is the most challenging, isolating, unforgiving position on the pitch. Full balls, full balls a game that rewards goal scorers far more than unsung heroes that prevent goals. So let us take a look at things from the keeper's perspective. Let us recognize the tribulations or the tribulations they endure throughout their lengthy careers. Taking the blame. As a goalkeeper, you will have to accept that you are the last person in line of defense and your sole purpose on the pitch is to reduce the number of goals against you. So even if you are not totally to blame, for a mistake resulting in a goal, it will often be deemed your fault. You will regularly take the brunt of the criticism. Putting your hand up and accepting the blame is part and parcel of being a goalkeeper. At times this feels unfair, but it is that ability to remain humble and keep your chin up, making goalkeepers the strongest, noblest players on the football pitch. Lack of glory. Leading on from the last point is that you do not get too much glory as a goalkeeper. The occasional penalty saves, the instinctive reflex stop that dives at feet to twat the striker in a one-on-one -on -one situation. These are the moments that you strive for. Unlike teammates, you are not out on the pitch for the chance to score a 30-yard screamer or an overhead kick. You are there for clean sheets. The wonder save that was not <clears throat> meant to be. Bad luck does not affect any player more than the goalkeeper. There are times when you will make the impossible save and yet it's still results in a goal at the end. All goalkeepers experience those moments where pairing the ball pops out in an unfortunate place, such as an opponent's feet, setting up a second attempt at goal. This leaves you no time to get set and react. It is devastating when a great save does not work out and it happens at every level of football. That pre-match warm-up. Lower league levels, particularly in youth football, tend to stick the keeper in a goal before the game and pelt multiple balls their way from point-blank range. It is one of the worst ways for goalkeepers to prepare for a match. What keepers really need is as many touches of the ball as possible before the kick off to get a feel for the ground and weather conditions to test their gloves and to get warm. Picking balls out of the net is not preparation. Learn proper goalkeeper warm up routines. The whole get in goalkeeper while we practice shooting highlights how neglected keepers are in a match of football. It is foolish considering the keeper is arguably the team's most influential player. Mud, wet, sloppy <clears throat> mud. So there is an enormous murky puddle in the goal mouth. And guess what? It has got your name on it until you get to higher levels of football where dedicated ground sweepers or keepers come into play, you have to make do with imperfect pitches to say the least. This means that a lot of the time your clothing will be caked in thick, heavy, sometimes stinky, sloppy mud. There are multiple problems this brings to the table. That's right. Extra weight. Have you ever done that swimming badge where you have to trend water in your pyjamas? Well, 
Wet mud makes you feel like you are doing that. Try running or kicking a ball when you are that much slower than you usually are. Slippery gloves. Mud will practically deactivate your gloves entirely if you are not careful. The latex will not work if there is a layer of slushy mud coating your palms. The ball will feel like a bar of soap. Sloppy pitch. If you have played on a terrible pitch, you will be all too familiar with taking a goal kick where the ground around you moves as you take your run up. But it is no use complaining about it. You will not receive any sympathy for pre pre presenting any of these excuses. You need to adapt and respond to the conditions. Terrible kids. Okay, okay. So this one might be slightly outdated, but I feel that we should at least recognize how bad goalkeeping kids have looked over the years. Some keepers have practically owned an apology from the kit manufacturers. Wearing a jersey that reflects your unique position is one thing. Looking like a clown is another. For some time, entertainment. Do a Google image search of West goalkeeper kids. The next one, being the forgotten man. It is 10 of them for every one of you. You are quickly forgotten. Unfortunately, goalkeepers are regularly neglected in team training sessions with so many players to work on. Keepers do not receive the attention they need. That is to be expected. You will often feel unrecognized too. A goal prevented is equal to a goal scored, but you will not receive any equal amount of credit that is just football culture you cannot change it no second chances goalkeeping is the most unforgiving position on the pitch and it offers minimal opportunity for redemption Strikers, for example, can make several inadequate efforts at goal and then get into the game. If they score, then those ineffective efforts are almost entirely forgotten about. But one single goalkeeping mistake carries far too much weight to be brushed aside. A goal conceded changes the, the course of the game. It is remembered. You have to be ready when you step out into the pitch because redemption is an uphill struggle for keepers. If you make a mistake, you may not get another chance to put it right. You can only keep your head up, stay focused and learn from it. The long journey home after the bad day. There is nothing worse than the journey home when you are kicking yourself over a mistake you made. Those pivotal moments cost games and ruin the weekend for everyone involved at your club. Goalkeepers indeed carry the burden of their errors. Most other positions on the football pitch could not hold themselves singularly responsible for dropping points. With that in mind, it is unsurprising that some professional keepers have quit the game for a career with a little less stress. Mental strength, a positive attitude, and the determination to go again are required. Wounds will heal. Best things about being a keeper, goalkeeper. Being a, goal, a, a goalkeeper is physically and mentally challenging. You need to be agile, strong, fit, focused, brave, decisive. You must be fully prepared to carry the team's weight on your shoulders, wear mistakes, handle stress, and accept that you will rarely experience the glory outfield players do. You will always face them more criticism than praise. The worst things about being a goalkeeper. So, 
Why does anyone become a goalkeeper in the first place? What is good about being a goalkeeper? It is an interesting question. Here are all the best things about being a goalkeeper. Being unique. Any goalkeeper will tell you, goalkeepers are a different breed. Right from the moment you start playing football, you know that you are not quite like the other 10 players on the team. The responsibilities, specialized training, drills, unique equipment, and the bravery to take on a role that demands vastly different skills to all other on-pitch players attract certain types of people to the position. Becoming a goalkeeper reflects a person's independent and single-minded nature. As a keeper, you know that only those who can think for themselves, someone responsible, level-headed, dependable, can be entrusted with the number one Jay-Z. That's right. Maximum game time. What does it mean? While outfield players certainly experience more glory, on the whole, it comes with frustration of being benched for lengthy periods, not starting games or not playing at all. First choice keepers in particular get a lot of game time, rarely a goalkeeper in the starting lineup does not play the full 90 minutes. That's right. Therefore, goalkeepers have more ownership over the team and its performances than anyone else. Assisting goals. Keepers rarely score goals, but whoever said they cannot make assists as keepers, they can distribute the ball from their hands, which is generally much more precise than using their feet so it is pretty standard for a quick throw out or accurate long ball kick directly or indirectly in fact it is more satisfying to set up a goal as a keeper from the opposite end of the pitch than when you are expected to regularly do so as an outfield player making penalty saves keepers are not expected to save penalties. It is worth noting that in the Premier League, 84% of penalties have been scored, 4% missed, and 12% held. But because there is no pressure to produce the saved penalties are a goalkeeper's chance to shine. Making a penalty save that changes the game or wins the penalty shootout is a keeper's ultimate moment of glory. You might need to be patient to become a penalty hall hero, but it is well worth the wait. The power to 10 games. All experienced keepers will recall match days when they made a series of saves that uplifted their team, frustrated the opposing attackers, 10 a game on its head and single-handedly snatch their team the points against the odds. In a sport where strikers steal the glory, often dancing and gloating in goal celebrations while keepers pick the ball out of the net, it is vitally important to enjoy and savor the moments where you have equally been the most influential person on the pitch. Keepers have the power to alter the course of the games and seasons. That is truly one of the best reasons to become a goalkeeper. Becoming a leader. It is often disputed whether goalkeepers should be team captains. But whether or not you, you have been given the ambit, you are inevitably going to become the leader. Being a goalkeeper requires assertiveness and the ability to give commands. Keepers need to be clear, loud and direct at all times to organize their team to defend against attacks. 
There is no hiding in the pack as a goalkeeper. Becoming a responsible leader and commanding respect is one of the most rewarding aspects of being a goalkeeper. And gaining that experience can positively impact many other areas of life, such as your career outside of football. Success in life is a team sport. In your team at home, at work, and in society, who is the goalkeeper? How do you celebrate their role? Better still, can you harness their skills to ensure that you maximize the chances of success on your journeys to success? Signing off, yours, Dr. Masasikani Misha Kosa, the thinking futurist. Thank you.